Hello friends, this video on periodic classification of elements part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Now we'll learn some trends in the group. So if you go from top to bottom, we see some variation in the valence electron, valency, size of atom, metallic character, chemical reactivity and nature of oxides. So we learn these. So we talk about the valence electron. All the elements in this group have same valence electron. If you take this guy, it's 2, 7, this guy, 2, 8, 7. So all these I have, right? 7 valence electron in this case. Correct. If you talk about valency, all the elements have same valency. In this case, if you see, it's 2, 7, so valency is 1, right? This guy also is 2, 8, 7, so it can take 1 to become stable. Valency is 1. So all these elements have same valency. We talk about atomic size. The size increases why? Because the extra shell is added. So in this case, you may tell that uh, in this case also the number of protons are increasing. But if you know the shell is extra. So this guy is 27. There are two cells. This guy is 287. There are three shells, right? So the number of shells are increasing. Since the number of shells are increasing, the size is also increasing. If you talk about uh, the metallic character, so if you go down, the metallic character will increase, right? And but the non-metallic character will decrease. So, so the reason why it is happening is if you go down, the size of atom will increase. The size of atom will increase, right? The size of atom is increasing in both the cases. Since the size is increasing, the force of attraction between this guy nucleus and the electron is less. So in both case, size of atom is increasing, right, as we go down and force of attraction between my nucleus and electron is decreasing, is decreasing, please note it is decreasing, right, why? Because it is far now, it is far so the force of attraction is increasing. Now, see no, note here, if the attraction between this guy and this guy is weak, right, it can easily come out, correct? So if, if this guy is not able to, this nucleus is not able to hold this electron, this guy electron will easily come out and thus it will be more metallic. In this case, this nucleus was able to hold this electron tightly. So for this electron to come out, it needed some extra energy, right? So it was not reactive. But this guy, if you see, since the size is big, this guy is not able to maintain this electron. And this guy can come out very easily. Same thing here. When I'm talking about now, this is about electron going out, right? When I'm talking about electron coming in, now, since if it is big, it will not be able to attract electron. It will not be able to. If it is small, if it is small, if it is small, it will be able to attract more and more electrons. If you see, because the power is more, right? The, the attraction is more. It is big, it is able to attract less electron. Since it is able to attract less electron, it is less non metallic Because non metallic is all about attracting more electron, right? So this guy is able to attract more electron. This guy is able to attract less electron. Since it is able to attract less electron, right, it is less non-metallic. I hope you understand this. See, in both the cases, the size of atom is increasing and the force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron is decreasing. In both the cases. Now, I'm talking about the losing electron since there are two cases. For metallic character, you have to lose electron. So, if I'm talking about losing electron, if my force of attraction is weak, I can easily lose electron, correct? The force of attraction is weak, this can easily jump out. And thus, since it is, it can easily jump out, I can say that he is more reactive. Thus, the metallic reactivity of this, or metallic character of this elements increase. But I am talking about the non-metals. In this case, I am concerned he is not, this guy never gives electron. This guy always takes electron, right? This guy always takes electron. This guy always takes electron. Correct. So in this case, if you see, since it is going big and the force of attraction is less, this guy 
loses its capacity to attract, right? Because this is big, it is not able to attract even a single electron. You see, this guy is able to attract one electron, this guy is able to attract three electrons. But this guy is big guy is not able to attract single electron also. Since it is not able to attract electron, it's, it's non-metallic character is decreasing, right? And that's why it is we say that uh, the metallic character increases as we go down and the non-metallic character decreases as we go down. And that's the reason why it happens. Please understand this little concepts involved here, right? In both the cases, size of atom increases and the force of attraction decreases. But if the force of attraction decreases, it decreases, it's difficult for you to hold the electron. So the electron will go out easily and then you become more uh, metallic in nature. But since the force of attraction is less, you are not able to attract electrons and thus you are less or non-metallic in nature. If you talk about uh, chemical reactivity, same thing. Chemical reactivity of the metal increase and reactivity of the metal decrease actually. Same, same funda here because uh, the size of atom is increasing, right? So this guy easily goes out, right? So this guy easily goes out because the size is increasing and this nucleus is not able to have a control on this electron. This guy electron is more reactive, it goes out and is more reactive. This In this case, the size of electron is big this guy is not able to control to attract new electrons so it is less reactive but this guy you see is able to attract more and more more and more electrons because this powerful now uh, nature of oxides all the elements have same nature of oxides i think you have seen this in the mendeleev also right the way he has grouped was with the base of nature of oxide only R2O3, RO, RO2, R2O. So if you see all these elements in this particular group had same nature of oxides, here also you can see that they have same nature of oxides. Because nature of oxide also depends on the uh, electronic configuration of the atom, right? So, so the number of atom, the number of electrons in the outermost cell, so they are same, so nature of oxide is also the same. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.